this way to bear country. You'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama! Papa! Sister! Brother! We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Big Bob Bear. Professor Out. A horse. Hey, honey, bugger. I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. Honey cinnamon porridge. Hey, great! Careful, it's hot. Good morning, Papa. <clears throat> Guess what's for breakfast, Papa? Your favorite honey cinnamon porridge. <clears throat> Where's the paper? got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. Papa was grouchy and you said it was because he got out of the wrong side of the bed? I remember. Well, what side of the bed is the wrong side? <laughs> There's no special side, really. It's just an expression that means starting off the day grouchy, that's all. Oh. Okay. Into bed with you. Good night, Cubs. Good night, Papa. Mama? Yes, dear? Remember what you said about getting out of the wrong side of the bed? Well, how about you? How about me what? Have you ever gotten out of the wrong side of the bed? Oh, of course I have. Everybody gets out of the wrong side of the bed occasionally. Well, good night, dears. Mama, suppose you both got out of the wrong side of the bed on the same morning. What would happen then? Hmm, there's no telling what would happen then. That could mean war. dopey feet out of my face. My feet aren't dopey, grouch puss, and they're not in your face. Now hear this. Get your dopey face out of my face. Oh, yeah? Well, you're the one that's dopey, brother bear, because while you're sitting there like a clod, I'm getting into the bathroom ahead of you and locking the door. Hey, you can't do that, you little twerp. You unlock this door, you little nerd. If you don't unlock this door... She's singing. We brush our teeth early in the morning. If she's right, we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. If you don't let me in there, you little... Wait, I'm gonna flatten you out and roll you up like a carpet. Hi, Papa. 
What in the name of bear country is going on here? Well, you see, Papa... What possible excuse could you have for banging on doors and calling your sister names? Well, see, she put her feet in my face, see, and then, then when I told her not to, she called me Grouch Puss and sneaked into the bathroom ahead of me and locked the door. Then when I asked her to come out, she started to sing and... None of which is any kind of excuse for pounding on doors and calling names. Good morning, Papa dear. It certainly is a lovely day. Good morning, sweetie. Now, why can't you be sweet and cooperative like your sister? Ah! Oh, I'll never speak to her again as long as I live! You got a deal, Buster. Papa dear, will you ask that person beside you for the honey? Hmm. Not speaking. Papa, would you ask that person beside you for the butter? Oh, oh. Hi, brother. Hi, sister. Saved your regular seat for you. I wouldn't sit beside her if she was the last cub on Earth. That goes double for me. Hello, dear. Where's your brother? Brother? I don't know anybody by that name. You'll find milk and cookies on the kitchen table. And afterward, why don't you come outside and play in that nice backyard treehouse you've been working on together? I want to say just one thing. If that other person, who shall be nameless, thinks for one minute He's going to take over my half of this treehouse. He's sadly mistaken. Well, if a certain little twit thinks she's going to take my half of the treehouse, she's even more mistaken. This side of the line is my half. And if a certain loudmouth so much as puts one toe over this line... And this is my half. And if a certain dopey bathroom hogging twerp so much as... If that certain person thinks I'm gonna leave just because it's raining and leave the whole treehouse to him, he's even dumber than he looks! And if that certain other person thinks I'm gonna leave... Oh, dear, those cubs. Silly head. Brother? Sister, don't you know enough to come in out of the rain? Come in here this instant. Go up to your room and dry off before you catch your death of cold. Well, I like that. Some unauthorized person has been using my modeling clay. Oh, it took me a week to make those! Well, what about my jigsaw puzzle that some little twerp has been putting together? You no good rat! I've been working on that puzzle for two whole weeks! What about my clay dinosaurs? I was working on them for a school project! Oh, yeah? Well, my clay is my clay, and you have absolutely no right! I have every right! You're always using my my skateboard, my hockey stick, my... Never mind about your stuff. You know you sore head. You're the sore head, you little silly nitwit. Why I ought to... You just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Womp, 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 womp! What in the world is going on up there? I want that shouting stop this instant, understand? It's all his fault. He called me names. All my fault. It's all her fault. I don't care whose fault it is. I want this fighting and bickering stopped. Stop, you hear? He what do you think this is? Family view? I want the noise stopped. Stop, 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 you hear? I didn't know you could whistle that loud, Mama. Well, I can. And I can also tell you that I've had quite enough of this foolish fighting. Why, I don't think you two even remember what you're fighting about. All right, you two. Onto my lap. Now let's settle down and talk about the situation calmly and quietly. 
Let's talk about how folks get into bad moods once in a while and how one thing leads to another and they get into big, nasty, noisy arguments. Even folks who love each other very much. You and I don't have arguments, my dear. Oh, yes, we do. No, we don't. We're having one right now about whether or not we have arguments. Mm. They get angry. They begin to stomp and shout, say all sorts of things they really don't mean, even call each other bad names. Then after a while, they come to their senses and realize how silly they've been, and the whole thing blows away. You mean it all sort of blows away like the storm? Yes, my dear, like the storm. Hey, gang, look, a rainbow. Yes, a rainbow. You see, a rainbow is something very beautiful that happens after a big storm. You mean like making up after a fight? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Now, why don't you two kiss and make up? Kiss and make up? <laughs> All right, then. Shake hands and make up. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh